Hey, Shabbat Shalom, everyone. I got the uh, MJE t-shirt going here. Hope everyone's feeling good. I want to give you just a nice little piece of Torah for your Shabbos. Uh, you know, in this week's Parsha, uh, God says, uh, rather Moshe says to the Jewish people, Yifkod Hashem Ruchot Ish Alaheida, that God should choose someone to lead the assembly, which is really Moshe's way of asking God for a replacement. Who is going to succeed me as the next leader of Israel? And the Midrash tells us, the important part of rabbinic literature, that the reason Moses asks for this right now is because immediately after the daughters of Slavchad got what they asked for, which was an inheritance in the land of Israel, Moshe saw this as an opportunity to ask for his own children to succeed him as the next leader of Israel. What was God's response? No. Too bad, so sad. God answers according to the Midrash, Yotzer te'eno yochal priya. Whoever works the fig tree will eat of its fruit. What did God mean according to the Midrash when he said whoever eats the fig tree? Whoever works the fig tree will eat of its fruit. And the Midrash continues to say that God told Moshe the harsh truth that his children were not worthy of becoming the next leaders because they weren't there to get up early in the morning and stay up late at night like Moses' lead disciple, Joshua, telling us and teaching us the very important lesson for leadership in Judaism. It's not who your parents are. It's who gets up early, who stays up late, who devotes themselves, who is dedicated. The people who are leaders for the Jewish people have to be devoted to the Jewish people. It's not about yichus. It's not about who your parents and grandparents were as far as leadership is concerned. It's about your own scholarship, your own erudition, did you get up early? Did you try hard? Did you devote yourself? And that's such an important lesson in life because leadership and excellence in life in general goes not to where you come from. Unfortunately, there are parts of our world that are like that, but it comes down to how hard you try, how devoted you are, and how much you really want it. And if you want it, you can do great things. So leadership is for anyone who puts their foot in the water and says, I want in, I want to lead. I want to do something great for the Jewish people. Shabbat Shalom.